What's going on YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to layer bangs properly. So if you're a client watching this and you know, you're know you just wondering why your bangs aren't laying properly or there's an issue going on, and if you're a hairstylist, you need to watch this video and understand because there's a technique that I do all the time and it's very, very effective. So when you think about you know the bangs or you know fringe, for all you uh, lovely Brits out there. <laughs> you know, I, when I'm doing this, I'm actually treating this as its own kind of separate haircut, believe it or not. You know, I treat this as something that is its own thing, you know, especially when, you know, you've got this as a separate disconnected piece from the entire haircut, right? Um, you know, you've got bangs that are blended in, you've got bangs that are angled, you've got a whole bunch of stuff going on when it comes to this area. But a lot of times, if you're just cutting it straight across and you're not really layering it properly, then it could cause an issue. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Let's get started. All right, so what we have here is we've got our base fundamental section for the bangs or the fringe. And what I've done is, you know, I didn't go too far back, but I created a triangular parting, as you can see right in through here. And the first thing that you guys need to do and if, if your client is obviously established the length of your bangs. So what you need to do is really be careful, right? And this is really gonna be focused more towards the technique, okay? So, you know, if you're doing this yourself at home or whatever it is, you know, um, if you're a stylist cutting this, you have to make sure that the length is not gonna be too short, right? Because once you cut bangs too short, forget it. It's better to have a little bit of length to it and then create some texture afterwards, right? Uh, or go a little bit shorter. But once you cut these things too short, forget it. What you never want to do is hold the hair and cut it exactly where, you know, you're going to put your finger here or where you think it's going to lay. Because what's going to happen, most likely it'll spring up, it may separate. There's a whole bunch of issues that can go on. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock my comb in like this. And this is going to be kind of the best way for me to cut this. You want to give yourself a little bit of room here, a little bit of extra length, so you're not cutting it too short. I'm just going to kind of scoot down here, and we're going to cut straight across. So as you can see, what we've done is we've created perfectly nice straight bangs, and if you want to go in and cut that little piece in the corner, if there's any little strays, feel free to cut them. But it's best to have the hair a bit longer, because when you remove the weight through layering, they're going to actually spring up a little. See how it's already springing up? but it's spring up to an ideal perfect length. So if you're cutting your bangs yourself, locking in with that comb and cutting it straight across is an ideal method. So now the most important part, which is the layering. So by layering the hair, what you're doing is you're removing weight. And I like to do a technique where I'm going to start in the corner first, right? I'm gonna start in the corner, and let's turn so you can see this, and I'm gonna comb this all straight up like this. So what's happening is that as that hair falls down, what's laying on top of it is the weight. And that is what we need to remove, that excess weight to make sure that these bangs could actually have a nice flow to them. So there's the length again, let that fall down, and we're gonna cut straight across. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm working from left to uh, right to center, and I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to bring this all straight up and cut it so that we're actually creating a beautiful shape and removing that weight so that the bangs actually have some movement to them. And they're not just a big clump of hair that's sitting on top of you know, the, someone's forehead, okay? So there's that. So now what I wanna do is I'm actually going to do this on the other side. All right, let me just bring this back a little bit so you guys can see. I'm gonna stand on the opposite side and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm gonna comb the hair straight up like this, just like how I did before, and there's that little bit of weight, and we're gonna cut that off. The reason I like to do this, again, as I mentioned, this is a technique. You know, I treat this as almost like it's its own haircut. The reason I like to do this on both sides is because it allows the hair to have a bit more flexibility and a bit more movement. In case the client wants to, you know, maybe sweep their hair a little bit more towards one side, um, this really, really helps do that, and it helps balance it out 
And as you can see in through here, what we've done is we've actually created a nice silhouette so far. Now watch this. See, it's got that great movement in through it like this. And that's it. Now I'm not done. The last part of this is what I like to do, and this is putting the icing on the cake. I'm using the fine teeth of the comb because I really want to make sure I'm getting all that hair with even tension. I'm going to comb this straight back, straight up like this. And that little bit right there is that excess weight. And I'm going to cut that straight across. So now what we've done in this little section of hair right here, what we've done is we've actually created a bunch of layers. As you can see right through here, the hair is falling shorter all the way down to the bottom. We've actually cut it so that if the client wanted to kind of sweep the hair over a little bit to one side, she can do that and do that on the opposite side as well. You know, but really ideally, this is for someone who likes to wear their, the fringe or the bangs straight down like this. Let's blow dry it and uh, I'll show you what else we can do with this. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm seeing that it's a bit longer right here on this one side, and it's probably because I was trying to stand on an angle uh, without blocking the camera, which can be very difficult at times. So let's comb that down. And again, it's better to do this now, as I mentioned, than for it to be too late afterwards. So if you do find that one side is a bit longer, what you do is you go in and there, you'll be able to see it this way. Lock in the hair. And you can also cut these when they're dry too. You don't have to do it when it's wet, right? I always like to do bangs sometimes when they're dry because again, you're going to see instant results. You just really, really, really need to be careful that you're not cutting them too short. You can also go in and point cut like this to add a little bit of softness right into here. Again, it really depends on the type of look you want with them, right? But what's important is that we're looking at this part into here. We're looking at how it's layered. All right, that's what's really most important is the layering of it. So what I want to do is, let's just go in here, and I'm going to actually start to pick the hair up like this and point cut a bit more when it's dry just to add a little bit more movement to it. As you can see, look at all that movement that the bangs have in through here. All right, and what's happening is if you're, combing, you know, combing the hair, running your fingers through it, and you're still feeling it's a bit heavy, this is the best way to go about kind of softening it and shaping it so that it's um, going to be perfect. And you can also comb the hair straight up. You can do whatever you want, and the hair is going to actually respond much better when it's dry, okay? It's going to respond much better when it's dry, and as you can see through here, we've got great movement and great softness coming in through the bangs, which I think works uh, really, really well. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. So here we have a nice finished fringe area with lots of beautiful layers, as you can see through here. The key is that you're not seeing any harsh lines. It's very seamless, and you know, it's definitely a great technique. So you know, ladies, let me know if you found this helpful. If you're a client and you're saying, no wonder my bangs look horrible because my stylist isn't doing that, well, hopefully you can learn something. If you're doing it yourself, if you're a stylist or you know, professional doing this, hopefully you guys found this helpful. And please let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.